Hey guys, uh, Ryan here uh, with Bigfoot RC. Just going to show you guys a uh, real quick uh, Blue Jay ESC flash from B BL, Hel uh, BL Heli 32. So we're going to go in here. I already have it connected through the USB cord. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just plug in the battery. All right, make sure you guys uh, don't have the remote on or anything. Just plug in the battery. Don't have your remote. Powered on. All right, now I'm going to read the settings here. There it goes. It's reading it. And we're in. So, uh, just as reference, I took a screenshot of this and just where my motors were at. So, just in case it changes, you can see the reversed, normal, reversed, reversed. So, how you had it. If you want to go back to BL Heli. So, all right, so I'm going to go down here to flash all ESCs. Go to Blue Jay. Uh, keep it on the same ESC. It, it already automatically chooses it for you. You don't need to change that. Uh, I'm going to go to the newest version. And, okay, so basically 24 uh, pulse width modulation. Uh, that would be for the larger quads. Uh, at least uh, the newest data shows that the, the larger ones are better with 24. You might be able to try 48. Uh, 48 is more in the middle, 3 inch maybe. Uh, 96 is probably going to be your tiny whoops and stuff like that. So um, the longer, the uh, the higher the pulse with modulation frequency, the longer it's going to fly, but it's going to have a little bit worse handling. So um, so yeah, basically I have a, this is a 5 inch uh, Racer X um, toothpick. So I'm going to, since it's a 5 inch, I'm going to do 24. All right, and then I'm going to go to flash. And there it goes, guys. So there it's going to do each ESC. Change it on over. Also, there's, uh, there's some cool stuff to mess around on here. So it's also um, some different tunes you can put on it and all that. So now I'm... I'm not quite sure about startup power. You may have to change this. I know on the Mobile One uh, Plug and Play 1S video I had where I did Blue Jay, I had to change this. I believe it wants it at 1200, but we will see how this flies as is. I did my actually my larger 6 inch quad and I didn't have to mess with anything. So maybe that's just on the. Uh, yeah, see, look, it changed a little bit. So. Um, that should be good for that. So it looks like we're set, guys. This has the Blue Jay software, 24 uh, kilohertz. And again, this is a 5-inch quad. So if you're going to do a, uh, uh, let's see, like a 3-inch, 48 kilohertz, probably be safe. Uh, if you want to do the tiny whoops, uh, definitely 96. Or you could do 48. So whatever you prefer. I guess you do a little bit less for a little tinier handling, or a little bit better handling. So here's here I'm going to show you guys the open melody editor. So you can go in here. Uh, literally just choose any of these. So if you want to do, uh, gosh, they have a ton of them in here. So let's see here. I don't know why, but I think I'm going to do, let's see here. If anybody out there likes Pokemon, but, uh, let's see if I can do that one here. And, uh. Kind of slow on that, but sure it'll be more consistent when I flash it. I'm going to accept, 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 accept. Right, melodies. There we go. There we go. That's it, guys. And that will conclude the quick video on the Blue Jay ESC configure. Also, actually, before I end it, one quick thing here, guys. All you have to do to go back. And make sure you get a screenshot of your old settings just in case, because if these things get messed up, it's probably not going to fly right, at least the setting-wise for the old uh, BL Heli setup. But I got to go in here, just go right back. Choose that, choose the version you want to do, and it'll go right back to BL Heli. So. All right, guys. Hey, guys. So uh, I'm on beta flight now. Um, actually, uh, this is the second portion of the uh, Blue Jay ESC software uh, configuration. So I already got the software changed over on the Blue Jay. 
uh, configure for the ESC software. And then I'm going to go in here right now. All right, so you go to your motors tab, and you do bi-directional D shot. It's already activated because I already did already did this, but right there, that's not going to be turned on. You need that save and reboot. And then, honestly, guys, that's all I did on my six-inch quadcopter, and it flies amazing. So, I know on the mobile uh, mobile 7.1s, there's some other settings in here like some of these are different and you have to change some of these but on this I'm just going to leave it alone I haven't tested this one yet so I know one of them works great and it didn't need changes so I'm going to see how this goes tomorrow so I'm um, not too familiar with changing any of these things so I don't think there's anything else I need to do and uh, that'll do it guys so uh, just real quick in bed of flight just turn that on and uh, you are good to go all right, guys, um, and we're going to finish out the video now, and that's it. Thank you.